Okay, so let's have a look at image overlays. Uh, there are all kinds of overlays. We're working through them in this series. Let's just have a look at images. Now, lots of different ways we can do this really, lots of different needs for it. Uh, it might be that you just want to bring in an image that you're dropping over the front here and you want to be able to talk about it as a slide. And one of the new things that's in Ecamm is the fact that where in the past it would have brought in an image like this that didn't quite fit and you'd have still been able to see around the edges of it. <laughs> now you can actually keep resizing this and you can push it right to the boundaries of the screen there. Um, let's show a more obvious one actually. If I bring in one that's totally the wrong shape like this, and you think, oh, I really want to use that image, but you know, it's the wrong shape. I'd love to be able to fill the screen with it. Well, you can now. So again, you can either uh, drag from the corner and just keep dragging. And um, when you, you, <laughs> ah, bugger, lost it. If you, uh, the downside with this is you kind of, you got to pull from one of the corners. So if, if you've got it off screen, you're going to lose it. Uh, the easier thing to do if either on a trackpad use the pinch and squeeze or if you've got a magic mouse or something you can just run your finger up and down it but it will just keep going again until it fills that screen so it will go well above and below or if it were the other way around and it was a really long narrow one. Um, but this is actually really powerful how now it lets you do this because I've worked with customers who just get frustrated because they can't get it to fill the size and rather than going off to Photoshop or something else and getting it into the, the format of this screen, this is a great update to be able to do this. So uh, we might want to bring in an image like this that is just a solid image and we're talking about it and it either covers the screen and if maybe we want to have it cover the screen like this, we could bring ourselves in as a picture in picture but Notice that I can't bring in a picture in picture of the same camera feed that is playing in the background. So if I change at the top here to this being a screen share, doesn't matter what it's sharing, just the desktop or anything, notice that I now have an option for a picture in picture down here. And so I can bring this image in and I can adjust the size of it and now I can stay down here as a picture in picture over the front of this image. Um, that might be something really useful for you. Maybe you, you're thinking through of a presentation and you want to bring in images. As I mentioned in my video on scenes, I would create a new scene every time you are doing something like this. So this would be, you know, I'd label this one up as the swabbing or something image and then I would create another scene so we're just going off every time and having a new scene. I can bring in a transparent PNG like this and uh, maybe I want this little mini version of me to appear down the bottom corner here or it could be a text overlay or something else. Maybe like this that we do in our academy on different days we can just put these overlays up to the top corner of it just to reference what day of the week it is. So all of these are image overlays that we can bring in and notice that with this one here now again you can pull from all four corners. It used to be that you had to pull from the bottom right but now you can pull from all four and um, I'm going to turn that one off. Now if you find like this that the actual window is jumping around when you're trying to grab this it's because I'm moving in this empty space that's transparent See how my cursor changes to a hand when I'm over the image and then it changes back. So if I'm in this space and I haven't got a hand icon, it's not going to drag it. But I can drag it up. Look, I can almost cover my face size there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you find it's not moving, that's why. Notice as well as I'm bringing these in, we've got these grid lines that snap on here. Uh, is really useful again and it's like a boundary edge to it there where they're suggesting you don't go outside. You can, you can go well off the screen if you want to. It's just a good practice to stay within that area. Now what I want to just point out is that these all appear over here in this, uh, in your overlays tab. As you drag them onto the window they will come into this overlays tab by default in show in current scene. So if I were to call this scene overlays and then I create a new scene which has just got me in it without the overlays. 
Notice that they're not in this scene, but they're in this current scene. Now, if I want day one to stay in everything that is broadcast, then I can move it from there. I can click on it and look as I drag it up, I get that little blue bar and I can now go into that top area that says show in all scenes. So now when I click my next scene, that overlay stays at the top because I asked it to. The other one is only in that scene. Okay, so that's the difference between showing all scenes and showing current scene. Now I'm just going to drag that back a minute because sometimes people say, uh, oh, it's just confusing because this overlay at the front here is in front of the other one and uh, I didn't want it to cover it up. I wanted the little guy to be in the front. There we go. Let's put it like that. But I actually want that to sit behind him. How do I do that? Again, in your overlays here, the higher they are, the closer to the front it will be. So because the orange day one is higher than the little picture, then that sits in front of it. So all I've got to do is push him in front of that one and now he comes to the front and that sits behind. Okay, so I can extend this and you know maybe you're wanting it to be something more like this and you want this character to stay on the front. Uh, yeah, so all that's doing is the order that they're in, the overlays in here will determine which comes to the front. So the higher it is, the nearer to the front of the screen it is, if that makes sense. And that's image overlays. Any questions? Let me know in the comments.